नमस्ते आई राजेश राजपरा वेलकम यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल ई एजुकेटर अब टॉपिक इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया स्टैंडर्ड नाइन सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस लेसन नंबर एट फ्रेमिंग ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड इट्स फीचर सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट मीनिंग ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड फ्रेमिंग ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट प्रियम्बल ऑफ इंडिया एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ अ प्रियम्बल प्लीज सी द वीडियोज टिल एंड टू गेट दोज इन्फॉर्मेशन सब्सक्राइब अ चैनल इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन टू सब्सक्राइब अ चैनल सो यू कैन गेट द अपडेट्स ऑफ मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड मोर इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स ओके लेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर so what is constitution let us understand first meaning of a constitution so you know, you know very well there is a requirement of a set of a rules to run a game to play game we need certain set of a rules so without a set of a rules a game cannot be continue so we need we required certain uh, set of a rules certain rules to play a game like in the cricket if the bowler bowl the ball over stepping the crease line means it is a no ball if a bowler so bowl the ball over stepping the crease line that is known as a no ball same like in a red car in a football it indicate the serious offense the persons who do the kind of a offense serious offense they get a red car kinds of a fouls in a football like same in a kabaddi and kho kho there are the numbers of game so they have a certain uh, rules and regulation set of of uh, rules set set of uh, rules in that game players who follow the games and they play the game so without a uh, rules and regulation game cannot be continue so we need certain set of uh, rule so that set of uh, rules to run a game is known as a constitution for the game constitution means that is one of a uh, uh, rules for the game so with that set of uh, rules game can continue uh, so game uh, okay so to run a country to administer the country we also need certain set of uh, rules okay so that meaning of a constitution there the so constitution means any systematic collection of uh, rules designed to govern a country's regime is known as a constitution simple mean meaning of a constitution that systematic collection of a rule systematic collection of a rule set of a rules that was the set of a rules that was designed it was a uh, constructed to govern to administer a country's regimes regimes means the areas of a country is known as a constitution to administer the country to run a country we need certain set of uh, rules so that set of uh, rules is known as a constitution of a country constitution of india for our country now to run a school to run any institutions we also need some set of uh, rules so that set of uh, rules for the school it known as a constitution of the school set of a uh, companies set of uh, institutions so set of rules of uh, institutions set of uh, rules of a uh, companies is known as a constitution of their school constitution of that company so we also have a such a constitution which a uh, design and a, a, a certain system a systematic uh, way to govern a country to administer the country to run the country uh, that known as a constitution simple meaning of a constitution means systematic collection of uh, rules to run a country to govern a country is known as a constitution okay you can see here the constitution of india the book of constitution of india now what is importance of a constitution why we need the constitution what is the important so constitution is a basic and most important document for the country is one of a basics which required to run the country so it is a basic and one of the most important for the country it is one of the most important documents for a country the laws of a country are based on a constitutions law of a countries so indian penal code like in india indian penal code 
the, the articles which based on a constitutions the framing of uh, new laws the framing of whatever the laws which were made so that based on a constitutions so while framing any act framing any law we need to look after the constitutions so the laws of a countries all the laws all the act all the rules for the country they are based on a constitution the constitution is superior to all the laws of a country and who is a superior law a act an article is not a superior but the superior is a constitution constitution is a powerful and it is superior is superior one means one of a most one sabse upar aane wala constitution aur constitution ke under law of india act of india jitne bhi laws hai jitne bhi ipc jo bhi hai the indian penal code hai वो सब ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के अंदर आता है जितने भी रूल्स रेगुलेशन जो आप आते हैं वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को ध्यान में रखकर ही बनाए जाते हैं ओके तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज वन ऑफ अ सुपीरियर फॉर द कंट्रीज एंड ऑल द लॉ ऑल द एक्ट शुड बी मेड विथ अबाइड ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन्वॉल्व पीरियोडिकल चेंजेस ऐसा नहीं है कि एक बार कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बना दिया तो उसमें चेंजेस नहीं हो सकते वी कैन मेक अ चेंज in a constitution so it periodical changes changing may required in a constitution after sometimes we need some we need to change certain rules so periodical changes requirement of the people's aspirations that expectations interest as well as emotions which are the high of society so with the aspirations with the desires of a people to achieve new things with the new expectations and the interest of the people may change so we need to uh, some change in our constitutions so it may occur that the constitution uh, periodical changes may occur in the parliament so that's the reason constitution is a live and basic document it is a basics and live live document because it uh, uh, involves periodically changing in a constitution so it is called as a live and one of a basic document for the country another process of a framing constitutions now how indian constitution was framed the process of a framing indian constitution we know very well in 1946 cabinet mission arrived in india with the aims to frame the indian constitution so 25th march 1946 handed the duty to cabinet mission that cabinet missions the three members of a british cabinet the british parliament means england ke andar se teen cabinet minister the england ke british ke three cabinet ministers who arrived in india why they came india to find the solution the question of indian independence so british have already declared to give the independence india so the british cabinet sent one of a mission to india to look after the constitution of india so cabinet missions arrived in 1946 with aims to find the solution of independence india so cabinet missions three members of a cabinet uh, means cabinet ministers cabinet uh, the parliaments of uh, british they arrived in india to find the solution that came to be known as a cabinet mission now on the basis of recommendations so with the views with the ideas of those three members with the recommendation of those cabinet minister of the cabinet missions the constituent assembly was constituted and structure the constituent was decided so with the uh, recommendation of a cabinet missions the three members of a british parliament so they what they constituent assembly was constructed they framed the constituent assembly there was a framing of a constituent assembly so assembly constituent assembly was framed to frame a indian constitution so with the guidance with the recommendation of cabinet missions indian constituent assembly was constituted and it was structured the constitution was decided so a structure means it was framed which what constituent assembly was framed to uh, for the const uh, the constitution was uh, to decide to frame the indian constitution it was decided now constituent assembly comprised so how many members were there in constituent assembly there were 385 members cabinet mission with the guidance recommendation one assembly was framed constituent assembly so 
in the constitution assembly how many members were there 385 members with various members from the different religions they belong to different religions jitne bhi 385 members the wo 385 members alag alag religions dharma they they belong to different caste they belong to different genders genders male female so the uh, people from various geographical diversities geographical diversity means they belong to different parts of a country india ke alag alag parts ke andar se the political representatives they were uh, uh, different political representatives alag alag political representatives the and they were the experts from the various sectors those are the peoples they were the experts from the uh, various sectors they were the expert of a different subject so how many members remember the 385 members in a constituent assembly 385 members and those members they belong to a uh, different religions caste genders and various geographical various parts of a indian country and they were the experts of a different subject they were the experts of a different sectors so they were included in a constituent assembly you can see some of the leaders here some of the name like uh, jawahar lal nehru you can see here in the photographs sardar vallabh bhai patel here molana abul kalam azad you can see here shyam prasad mukherjee you can see here hp modi hv kamnath frank anthony kanaya lal munshi krishna swami ayer okay baldev singh and women representative sarojini naidu like vijaya lakshmi pandit exercise of the constituent assembly these are the members were the part of a constituent assembly the list is a long one as so 385 members was there in constituent assembly and they are from the different parts of a country they belong to different religions and caste creeds okay so these are the uh, number remember some of the names of a uh, now more about the assembly dr rajendra prasad was the president of a constituent assembly who was the president of a indian constituent assembly at the name rajendra prasad you can see here in the photographs so rajendra dr rajendra prasad has become as the president of a constituent assembly now the drafting committee was appointed to draft the indian constitution one committee was appointed to draft draft means to write constitution a drafting committee was appointed to draft the constitution another chairman chief of dr bhimrao ambedkar so dr bhimrao ambedkar become a chairman of a drafting committee remember both the name who was the president of a constituent assembly so who was the president of constituent assembly that dr rajendra prasad who was chairman of a drafting committee so answer dr bhimrao ambedkar chairman of drafting committee and president of constituent assembly dr rajendra prasad the constitution assembly met for 166 session session means one of a period of a meetings so 166 session was organized to complete the indian constitution to frame indian constitution and 166 session it spread over a period of a 2 year 11 months and 17 days how much time was taken to complete how much time was taken to frame indian constitution so 2 years 11 months and 17 days okay how many session was conducted to frame the indian constitution 166 sessions okay remember 166 sessions and time period 2 years 11 months and 17 days itna time laga tha ki bharat ka samvidhan banane ko bharat ka samvidhan banane ke liye it takes 166 sessions 2 years 11 fun and 17 days okay now members of the assembly was discussed there after so members of assembly so members of assembly each and every detail so whatever the members here you can see the photograph it is a photograph about a drafting committee it's one of a drafting committee uh, chaired by the dr bimrao ambedkar so all the members of constituent assembly 
they discuss each and every points in a detail each and every matters was discussed in a detail and they also looked the matters of a different countries constitutions they also looked the, they also I mean supervised they also taken some of the part of a different countries uh, constitution in this constitution constitution there are 295 articles and eight appendices so when constitution was framed as a time 295 articles and eight appendices was there after that amendments was passed and 395 articles was there and nine appendices in the constitution uh, was framed then constitution was framed how many presently 395 and nine appendices okay these are the information about the uh, constitution of india remember the name dr rajendra prasad bimra wamedkar the session 166 two years 11 months okay two years 11 months and 17 days remember those now after so 26 november 1949 the constitution was unanimously passed in the constitution assembly so 26 november 1949 constitution was completed framing of indian constitution was completed on 26 november 1949 ko india ka constitution संविधान है वो संविधान बन के कम्प्लीट हो गया और वो सब की परमिशन से कॉन्स्टिट्यू असम्बली में पास भी हो गया इट वॉज पासड इन ट्वेंटी सिक्स नवम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन इंडियन जो कॉन्स्टिट्यू असम्बली थी उसमें कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पास हो गया ऑल द मेम्बर्स हैव अ साइन इट एट द बैक साइड ऑफ अ दैट बुक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बुक After that, 26 January 1950, Constitution of India came into existence. So when it was passed, 26 November 1949, me, it was passed. So November 1949, it was passed. But it was enforced on 26 January 1950. When it was enforced, it was enforced on 26 January 1950. When it was enforced, it was enforced in 1950. why it was enforced on 26 january 1950 because 26 january 19 and 30 that was during as a time the uh, freedom fighter who decide decided to celebrate 26 january 1930 as a independence day somehow 19 and 1930 it was not possible to celebrate to remember the day 26 january 1930 indian constitution assembly they enforced that constitution on 26 january 1950 so that 26 january 1950 constitution of india came into existence to remember the day 26 january 1930 there after every year 26 january we celebrate republic day with the national fever so each and every years we are celebrating our national festival republic day 26th january so in this indian constitutions we have also four lines as a national emblem four lines you can see here as a national emblem of india as a national slogan we have accepted satya mev jayate truth will always win that is one of our slogan of a indian we have a accepted in our constitution more further the constitution provide the citizenship what included in a constitution the basics they provide the citizenship it provides rights and duties of the people directive principles of the state policies union state relation elections and the emergency provisions is a parts of a indian constitutions so it was uh, one of that it was provided by the constitution of india thus the constitution of india is most detailed and elaborated uh, national document elaborated the, so it is india uh, indian uh, constitution is world longest written constitution is one of the most detailed and elaborated elaborated means what uh, explanations well explained 
uh, detailed information in our constitution. So, it is one of uh, India's uh, sorry world longest constitution. So, India ka jo constitution hai, dunia ka sabse uh, longest hai, lamba hua jo likha gaya constitution hai, vesa one of uh, longest constitution of the world. Okay. Now, what is a preamble? So, preamble is a core and important part of a constitution. It's one of important part. Indian constitution begin with the preamble. Indian constitution start with the preamble. So, the words written in preamble highlights the soul of a constitution. So that uh, is one of a soul of a constitution. Some of the words which have written in our con uh, preamble it highlights the soul of a constitution. Which were the word written? So, preamble remain unchanged till 1976. In 1976, the word socialist, secular, unity and integrity of the nations were added. So, till 1976, Indian preamble, constitution of Indian preamble unchanged. But, in the 1976 with the amendments, few words were added like a socialist were added in Indian constitution with the socialist, secular, unity and integrity that are the word which added in our preamble. The preamble verbalized the fundamental objectives. So, it provides uh, information of uh, fundamental objectives and constitution that aims ideas and principle of a constitution. So, we can get uh, a certain ideas and of uh, ideas and principle of our constitution. Generally, you can say that uh, Preamble is one of introduction of a constitutions. It one of uh, uh, preamble ko uska ek a, uh, constitution ka ek, uh, introduction bhi bol sakte ho. When you read the preamble, you will get the, all the details uh, things of our the constitutions. So there, therefore the preamble straightway gives a clear insight of a rules of a welfare. So a rule of a welfare. The, uh, the this uh, preambles will provide the information about uh, uh, welfare of a countries. It provides the uh, straight ideas and principle of a countries. So, it, therefore, it known as a rule of a welfare. So, Constitution of India preamble: We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to continue India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thoughts expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among all of them fraternity assuring the dignity to the individual and the unity and integrity of a nation in our constitution constituent assembly this 26th day of November 1949 to hereby adopt, enact and give to ourselves this constitution. So, these are the words. Our constitution is based on those uh, capitalized words, sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic, republic, justice, liberty, equality, fraternities. So, these are the uh, main principles and main ideas of our constitutions. So, that uh, preambles provide those ideas of a constitution, preamble provide the principles of a constitution. Generally, in a short, we can say that preamble means it is one of the introductions of our constitutions. You can uh, get those uh, simple meaning uh, principles of our constitution, of Indian constitution. Now, what is the importance of a preamble? <coughs> So, the preamble is a soul of a constitution is also an important and a necessities. It is soul of a constitution and it is also required and it is one of a necessity. To understand the framing of a law, while we when we want to frame the, any new law, a new act. So, when to understand a new uh, uh, law, when to frame a new law, when to understand when... Uh, 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 any kinds of a law. So, for the interpretation of a law, for the framing of a law, preambles give the proper guidance. 
so preamble provide a guidance to understand the law to interpretation a law to frame the any law to understand the policy behind the framing of a law preamble plays an important role so while we'll framing any new law pro uh, that uh, preamble provides a guidance so a certain which word were in, uh, included some of the words in a preamble so it provide the guidance to frame a, a new law new act so preamble plays an important role to frame a law so preamble is a useful tool to avoid the troubles in interpretation of a constitutions when we have a some of the problem to understand the act some of the problem to understand the rule in a constitutions so as a time preamble provides guidance to understand so when any ambiguities ambiguities means difficulties or obscures detail in laws arise preamble helps in understanding the interpreting a law so while understanding uh, when when we face any difficulties to understand any law so that rising of the problems so as the time preamble provide a guidance to understand and to interpret law so thus preamble serves as a compass to understand the provisions of a constitution law and a preamble so this a preambles provide a, a guidance to understand the law means that why the preamble serves as a compass to understand the provision of a indian constitution okay there are the videos in a youtube open your youtube applications type in your youtube application as a sam vi dan search it samvidan so you, you you have a videos of like that samvidan click on the samvidan so these are the videos of rajya sabha tvs 10 episodes are there you can uh, see that ye jo samvidan se related jo video hai rajya sabha tv ne jo banaya hua hai आप वन बाय वन ये वीडियो भी देख सकते हो जिसके अंदर संविधान बनाने का कि पूरा इंडिया का जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जो बनाया गया है उनके बारे में पूरी इन्फॉर्मेशन ये वीडियोस के अंदर टेन एपिसोड्स के अंदर दी गई है ये यूट्यूब के अंदर आप ओपन कर सकते हो ओपन यूट्यूब एंड सर्च लाइक अ संविधान लाइक दिस वे एंड एंटर इट सो यू विल गेट दोज वीडियोज Thank you. And if you have not subscribed the channels, please subscribe to my YouTube channels for daily updates of our videos. Share with your friends. And if you have any queries and doubt, please comments me. Send a comments. Thank you. Jai Hind.